Thanks to its innovative features, strong performance, excellent capability, and absurdly low starting price, this 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning could absolutely be an industry-changing vehicle, one that everyday pickup buyers are absolutely gonna wanna check out. So come on, let's take a closer look at this all-electric pickup and find out what makes it so special. Okay, so let's start right up front. Sure, the Lightning has some unique styling elements like this solid grille and light bar at the top here, but for the most part, I mean, it looks like an F-150, and that is not a bad thing. Unlike some upcoming competing all-electric pickups, this thing is sure to appeal to more traditional truck buyers. In fact, this new Lightning shares the same aluminum cab and bed with the current F-150, which means any accessories offered for the combustion-powered model should fit here no problem. Keeping things simple, this all-electric pickup will be offered in just one flavor. You'll be able to get it with a four-door Super Crew body, that's the big one, and a five and a half foot bed. Why so little choice? Well, this combo represents the overwhelming majority of F-150 sold, meaning Ford is going right for the heart of the market. Behind that grille is a gigantic front trunk or mega power frunk as Ford calls it. Now we have an entire separate video all about this very useful feature, so make sure you check that out after you're done watching this video, of course. But now let's talk speeds and feeds. Every Lightning will feature a dual motor powertrain as well as full-time four-wheel drive, which is pretty cool and relatively easy to do in an EV because you don't need a transmission, drive shaft, or transfer case. In a move that could dramatically improve ride and handling, the Lightning also features an independent rear suspension, a first for an F-Series truck. Lest you think the 2022 Lightning is some frou-frou EV for pedicured urban cowboys to take through the Starbucks drive through this truck has gone through the same rigorous durability testing as other F-Series pickups. No sacrifices were made, says Ford. Accordingly, this rig is built on a massive frame which looks strong enough to support an 18-wheeler. Between the rails is the largest lithium-ion battery pack Ford has ever offered, one with pouch-style cells and a chemistry that uses dramatically less cobalt than before. Ford isn't saying how big these packs are, but based on range estimates and the efficiency of the E-Transit, which is also a big vehicle, I'm guesstimating the smaller pack clocks in at around 110 kilowatts hours and the larger one perhaps about 150. For protection the battery is shielded by extensive skid plates that come standard so off-roading shouldn't be a problem. The Lightning will be offered with two different powertrains. The base version features a battery pack that should provide 230 miles of driving range. As for the extended range model, expect about 300 miles between charges. Now, as for output, the base version should get you 426 horsepower. The extended range model up to 563, which is of course more than you can get in a super duty Ford truck. As for torque, both versions feature 700 175 pound-feet of twist, the most ever in an F-150. Now that's enough kibbles and bits to get this Lightning from 0 to 60 in the mid 4 second range. Terminal velocity is acclaimed 105 miles per hour. Now this is a truck, obviously, so it's got to be able to tow and haul, and if Ford is to be believed, the Lightning can do both very well. This truck is rated to haul up to 2,000 pounds and drag up to 10,000, pretty impressive numbers though. We don't have any idea what those are going to do to the driving range. If you're towing anywhere near the limit, it's probably gonna be significantly reduced, but it's impossible to say right now because there are so many variables. But Craig, what about charging times? Well, good question me. This truck comes standard with a mobile charger that runs at either 120 volts and 12 amps or 240 volts and 32 amps. Now, the former adds just three miles of range per hour, the latter about 21 miles every 60 minutes. When hooked to a 150 kilowatt DC fast charger, the extended range Lightning can add up to 54 miles of range in just 10 minutes. I like that a lot better than three miles per hour. I mean, that. 
Helping keep track of energy usage, especially while towing and hauling, the Lightning here has something called an intelligent range monitor. And basically what it does is dynamically estimate how far you can travel on a charge based on payload, weather conditions, and traffic so that you're not left high and dry with a dead battery. It's super clever. Though I do have one question, how do you charge this truck when you do have a trailer hooked up? I mean, do you just pull up and block all the other spots or do you have to disconnect it? Additionally, the Reborn Lightning features a super clever feature called Intelligent Backup Power. Now, basically what that does is it allows this truck to provide 9.6 kilowatts of juice to power your home during a blackout. So basically what happens is you've got this plugged in to the wall charger, its battery is full. When the lights go out, it can seamlessly switch over to run your entire house right through its electrical system. You don't need any noisy generators or extension cords. In the future, Ford says you'll even be able to charge your F-150 Lightning overnight at off-peak rates so you can save big money. We also put together a separate video all about intelligent backup power, so make sure you click the link above to watch that, but not yet. Inside, the biggest change you'll see is right here. The Lightning features an available 15 and a half inch touchscreen running a Sync 4A infotainment system. Now, not only does this arrangement look good, it seems super snappy. And I've got to think this is coming to other F-150s sooner than later. And of course, we've also got a 12 inch digital instrument cluster. This arrangement supports wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as over-the-air updates that can be completed in two minutes or less, and they, of course, should provide better performance and new features down the road. Ford's Blue Cruise hands-free driving aid will be available in the Lightning. Ditto for Ford's Max Recline front seats, which lay back about 180 degrees so you can take a nap. You can also get, fold the shifter down here, this lovely fold-out workstation so you can send emails, take notes, do meal prep, whatever. You'll also be able to use your phone as a key for the first time in an F-Series truck. The 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning will be offered in four trim levels. It will be bolted together in Dearborn, Michigan, and sold in all 50 states of the Union, plus Canada, and it should be available starting next spring. Perhaps most impressively, this truck's base price is an astonishingly low $40,000 before any state or federal tax breaks. That actually makes the Lightning cheaper than a comparable gas F-150, and not by a little bit. An equivalent XL Super Cab 4x4 with the 3.3 liter V6 also runs about 40 grand, but it of course doesn't qualify for the $7,500 tax credit that the Lightning does. On the high end, you'll be able to push a Lightning to about 90 grand, which of course is more expensive than a conventional F-150. You'll be able to reserve one of these all-electric pickups starting right now. Just head on over to Ford.com and plunk down $100. Thanks to its capability, impressive performance, and bargain basement pricing, this Reborn Lightning looks like an absolute game changer.